Hi everyone, today we are going to see about spherans. So I am Dr. Gerald Anthony, Assistant Professor in Chemistry, Sensei's College, Palayam Kote. So we have already discussed about some of the host guest chemistries, like host guest chemistries of some of the hosts like Fullerene, Spodan, Scripton, Crown Ethers, and finally we are going to see the spherans. So the Crown Ethers and Cryptons are relatively flexible in solution. So, uh, however, they are rigid in solid state. They may be somewhat flexible in the solution. So, the researchers started searching for a rigid host with convergence and binding sites even in the solution state for a metal cation. Then they came with an idea of spherans. So, Cram and co workers designed the rigid three-dimensional spherans. Which, uh, which has cation binding oxygen atoms which are pre-organized in an octahedral array. So it will be having more or less like an octahedral arrangement and it is ready to receive a metal ion. So here an, a compound is given below. Here you can see it is having aryl structure. In this aryl structure, it, it, this is having an anisyl uh, ring here, anisyl methyl ring here and a para, in para position another methyl ring. So this anisyl ring and this para methyl ring will act as a lipophilic surface. So it will be acting as a lipophilic surface. Another important thing is you can notice that uh, three rings are pointed upwards. So you can see three rings pointed upwards and three rings pointed downwards. So in this way it is arranged and the lithium ion can easily accommodate inside this octahedral array. Here the lithium ion can easily accommodated or binded inside this arc bind inside this octahedral array and to a lesser, lesser extent sodium can also accommodate inside the cavity but all the other cations cannot accommodate inside it because it is very small it can accommodate only lithium to a very lesser extent it can accommodate sodium ions uh, this is an example of a spheron. So this structure is example of spheron. You can see it is having octahedral array. Six oxygen atoms are there. So it is a perfect octahedral array. So next. So here is a Another one spheron which is having a binding packet of similar size which we have already discussed. So here another thing it is having diethylene glycol linkage. So you can see I will write this diethyl glycol linkage. Here these two oxygen atoms are present as such. So in this way. So, these two oxygen atoms are present as such. Remaining four oxygen atoms are linked with each other. So, here you can see one oxygen atom, here one oxygen atom, here one oxygen atom, here one oxygen atom. These oxygen atoms are linked with a diethylene glycol linkage. For a perfect way, I will draw only this four oxygen linkage. Now I will be drawing this four oxygen linkage. You can easily see it. So here one oxygen atom, here one oxygen atom, here one oxygen atom, here one oxygen atom. This is linked by an in this way. So here the two oxygen atoms will be remaining free.
it will be having only anisyl ring so in this way the structure is there so i have drawn the, the red color marked oxygen atoms are do not possess any diethyl oxygen linkage so remaining the yellow color marked will be having diethyl oxygen linkage which i have represent which i have drawn in the right hand side you can see it which i have drawn here so in this way the arrangement will be there so it is it is also having some type of binding effect so fluoro compound compound this reference with fluoro compound have also been prepared so here but it has lesser affinity to the cation so it is also in perfect octahedral arrangement 3 will be above the plane and 3 will be below the plane in same way but it has uh, its intrinsic affinity of fluoro substance for alkali metal cation so so intrinsically the, the fluoro fluoro ions have less affinity for alkali metal cations so even if you incorporate in previous case we have incorporated diethylene glycol linkage like that even if you incorporate any multiple binding sites or any other diel diethylene glycol linkages the binding effect cannot improve the binding effect is not improved in this fluoro complex sorry in this fluoro compound soft parents so this is a general method for preparation of a lithium host spherens so they have prepared it so first a uh, open chain structure is used and it is dimerized and in, along with that butyl lithium acetyl acetate were used and the lithium ion accommodated in between in between the cavities so now cross fertilization that is mixing the crown ethers cryptans uh, and phosphorans and podans have also produced a hybrid host like cryptosphorans cryptosphorans hemispherans and they also exhibit the many properties in which the individually the their cryptans for example individually their parent molecules possess for example the cryptans may have some properties and the spherans may have some properties when you mix it and produce a cross fertilization now that compound will be having possessing the properties of both the cryptans and spherans so here you can see hemispheran cryptospheran hemispherans are, are not prepared and they are having excellent cation binding abilities so with this we are completing the spherans thank you and we can meet in an another one video lecture